Greetings Firesiders and welcome to Winley, uh, a Winley, a Windy Fireside um, with Mr H. It's a free Fireside though, so it may be windy but it's our wind. It is. <laughs> oh! <laughs> See what I did there? Yes, you made a fart joke. Um, them are the flames of independence burning bright. Um, Mr H, what would you like to discuss at the Fireside for this week? Well, can you believe all these people, sir, who you just can't accept the democratic vote? I, I do believe, um, and the popular, the alleged populace who are railing against it, which is kind of Stockholm Syndrome, 30%, um, I, th I find it weird that 30% of the youth turned out to vote, yet there's hundreds of thousands of them marching in the streets saying that the old people have sold them out yeah. on their futures um, I think that's very engineered myself, I, yeah, th I think that's bollocks kids these days can't be asked going to the kitchen but get a glass of fucking pop you know, without getting the mother fuck do it, you know and they're too busy playing fucking Candy Crush Saga yeah. on the phone to, to go out protesting you know it's not like the 60s where there were Vietnam and you know proper no. protests well, what's happened, I think you've got a, a, a few people, you've got a lot of interest in Europe and they're just whipping it up trying to push for a second referendum. Well, the, glo the globalists can't cope with it, can they? And um, uh, they're, they're, they're kind of proving that there is no real democracy because if it doesn't agree with that, the, it's all right being de de democratic if the vote goes their way, but if it doesn't go the vote way, you've got Tony Blair sticking his fucking oar in. I keep me head down if I was him. You know what I mean? And, you know, they're all about second referendums, um, Article 50, is it? You know, yeah. try, try, trying to just block it. Um, but What they don't realise is, Jimmy, that it makes me laugh, these lefty people. They're um, all for democracy and everybody having the rights. And then suddenly they're trying to overturn a democratic Vote. You know what I mean? Um, this week I was um, interviewed by Vice magazine. It was, it was last week actually. Um, it's, an, it's like a, a cool kind of news channel on YouTube. Mad Dog Maiden ended up on there as well. Um, but this was about Brexit and the fact that Wigan had voted 70% out of Europe. And it seemed like they were pushing, the issue of race was strongly being pushed like everybody who kind of votes out is just a basically an EDL voting racist kind of thing um, we argued our corners um, but the narrative of the video was to present it as that you know what I mean I had a good time filming it and they brought me free dinner mm. but you know what I mean they, they obviously had an agenda um, you know, You've but, always um, got to remember that the, the editing room has the last set uh, well you know I've done a bit of television and I know kind of there, works. Is, there is the great god of editing Roy and um, there were a couple of times I was on Kimberly Stewart where I made a complete cunt of myself but look because they got on with me all right they, um, they made me look they, they, I got off lightly you know but back to the point of Europe Oh, sorry, sir. Yeah. It's alright, man. <laughs> we'll, 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 we'll edit that out. We'll edit that out. We'll edit that out. No, we, we can't afford editors. No, um, it's just, you can't believe, though, that these people are so negative. Yeah, yeah. Yes, they will lose opportunities. Certain people, as is the nasty way with people in Europe, will say, we're not trading with you anymore. Yeah, yeah. But there's other people that are going to come to the door. Well, I, I'll make a prediction, sir, that if this country picks up, then in 10 years time you'll find nobody that wanted to stop in no that 48 percent will shrink to about two i mean all the all, all these people who, who fucking uh, said oh economy's going to fall and businesses are going to close and shouldn't they remind themselves since 1973 when we signed up to fucking edward Heath sign us up we've lost the steelworks the fucking coal industries farming industries got gone to fucking pot you know yeah, what because I mean? it's, got, it's got one hand tied behind its back. I mean, look at what's happening in, in Italy now. Italy's in a financial mess. And they've turned around and told Prime Minister, though, you can't bail the banks out as government. They've got to do it themselves. So basically he's being told, sit there and watch your fucking economy crash and burn. Yeah, yeah, He's not yeah. going to do that. He'll defy them. He said he will defy them. Yeah. But there could be another one, an Italia well, exit. Well, um, basically... They crash Greece, um, they, they, they want to crash everywhere really, I mean, like I said, it, in a few years there will be a bit of massive financial crash where the world markets will, will crash and then, then we'll see 
where we'll be really, you know what I mean, with Europe and, and all that. But I hope a lot of other countries follow suit and uh, demand their own referendums. And I hope, I hope the European Union, Union, what the, what the fuck's up with me today? <laughs> the European Union is dismantled. Yeah. You know, well, because it's become a political fascist state. So. Well, that's all it's blueprint was wasn't it martin schultz the shouted odds who is this guy who votes him in the, well the, the th all these delegates are unelected the What's the placement for the the placement for the global corporate sector well they are voted in they, they, because somebody's going to put this at bottom yes they are voted in we vote for our meps who in turn vote for them yeah but you're voting by proxy yeah yeah you know it, it's not democracy that i don't no. care what they say Here's an interesting one for people to think about. The last time this country was in a boom time, sir, was pre-EEC. Right. Was in the right. 60s. We've never been in one since. Harold Wilson's government. Hmm. Sobering food for thought there. I think we'll leave it there at 6.08, Miss Rage. Yes, no problem. See you later.